Today in Roblox, we are going to be seeing the evolution of Mothra. Now, first things first, guys, let's check out some of her evolutions. The first one would be Mothra Larva. And I didn't even know this, but if I read the description, it said there were originally two, but one died before the events of Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. I actually did not know that, so RIP the other Mothra Larva. But then she grew up a little bit and became Heisei Mothra and became one of the first kaijus Godzilla ever faced. And, you know, kind of became his girlfriend. And then last but certainly not least, we have Titanus Masura. I'm probably still gonna call her Mothra, but first, we start out with Mothra Larva. And wait a minute, as I'm looking around, I actually see a bunch of Mothras in the air, so this is a full Mothra video today. Now, we're gonna check out everything with every character. Uh, you know, the one thing I do like about this character, we can kind of roll, you know what I'm saying? Quite literally, this character is pretty fast and, you know, kind of looks like a pumpkin donut. And I like that about Mothra, okay? L let's go ahead and do some moves, by the way. We've got Tail Slam as number one. Th that seems like a really weak move. We've got Web Assault as number two. I'm just gonna hit it on somebody real quick. Okay, a little Web Assault. Hopefully that Godzilla Ultima doesn't fight me. He looks like he's fighting somebody else right now. What about a Spin Swipe? I've actually never used this character. You know what? That wasn't bad. Then we've got the Larval Roar. Hold up. I've gotta hear this roar real quick. Oh my, what was that? That was more of a screech than a roar, but we leveled up from it. So, hey, I'm cool with that. Now we've got the Larval Call. Please don't scream in my ear. Okay, it's just a scream again. And now what we need to do is battle. Look at this Godzilla roaring over here. Is it going to be nice to me? And let me get this W since, you know, I am Mothra. I'm just a little Mothra. Mothra larva. Oh, no. Mothra larva, get out of here. He tried to hit that hollow earth quarry on me, but what he didn't know is I'm kind of a savage and can roll away. Mothra larva is kind of nice with it. And look at this. He just took somebody else out, but his health is kind of low. Ladies and gentlemen, Mothra larva just took down a Godzilla. Uh, what is this? I literally have Mothra larva at level six and we've already taken out a Godzilla. What about a Godzilla Ultima though? Oh no, I hit that Godzilla Ultima one time and now he is absolutely destroying with that beam. You know what? I, I don't mind. Let's go ahead and try to do a fight here. One thing I do like about Mothra Larva, her charge and her moves. She can throw out some moves really fast. And I mean, look how much damage we put in on Godzilla Ultima, even though I died like a pumpkin roll. And one thing we can do with Mothra Larva, we can upgrade one, uh, one time. You know, that's still really weak. And I feel like if we sit on this bad boy for a little bit, we just might evolve into that new new. You know what I'm saying? But for right now, I gotta do one more battle with my girl Mothra Larva. Hopefully I can find somebody at my size, maybe? Uh, okay, there's two Kaijus over here and they're both massive. We've got a frozen behemoth on one side and a okay never mind just frozen behemoth let's fight then buddy if mothra larva takes out a frozen behemoth i will give everybody watching this video at least ten thousand robux and trust me guys i am trying but my charge is now all the way out it doesn't look like anybody's getting some robux i mean this man still has over two thousand health and my health it is dwindling down very low to be honest with you though mothra larva if we were like a higher level i, I feel like this would actually be a decent fight but for right now yeah mothra larva just died and you know what since we did did touch that egg. We are about to sprout into Heisei Mothra, who also is very low level. I have her at eight. But at least now we have wings and we can fly around a little bit. I love the way this character looks, by the way. Who's already hit me? That is completely it. It was this Godzilla Ultima back here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and swoop in and hit him with a couple moves in the wa in the water. Okay, Mothra, get out of the water. I do not like Mothra being in the water. What I do like is checking out the moves. We've got Aerial Pincer here. And it's just like some claws. We've got Wing Whirlwind, which is... Okay, you know, I hit him with the wings. And then we've got some Scale Release. What in the world does that even mean? Is that the one that, like, blinds him? I don't know if that's what that means or not. Let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and try an Ultra Sonic Beam. Okay, you know, it didn't make any noise, but it was cool. Oh, no, now I'm getting hunted by that Godzilla Ultima. Let me hit a roar real quick. The Divine Roar. Please tell me it's better than the Larva. <laughs> Okay, you know, it's better. What about the divine call, though? Maybe that's just a little bit better than that roar. You know what? That's not too bad. Honestly, I'm expecting the last Mothra, aka Titanus Mothra, to be the best. Or Titanus Masura, whatever you want to... Oh my, yo, I just got hit twice, and look at my health. Already at 500. So one thing I will say about this Mothra right here, I'm not very strong. What if I swoop in like a savage? What's up are you kidding me i'm already dead oh wait a minute over here we got some beautiful mothras flying through the sky i can't wait to actually use that one wait a minute oh there's a high say right here yo we got the group of beautiful mothras just flying around here but that one did hit me you know what i'm gonna try to drop him down I i'm getting hit by all of them all right well my mothra has not been accepted into this little group here so you know what let's go ahead and hit him with a beam there can only be one high say mothra and it is gonna be your boy get back here right now there we go we just made that mothra take a seat 
and look at us leveling up, bro. I I'm feeling nice with Mothra. So nice, in fact, that I'm gonna land on a building in Florida and hit a little roar right here. Wait a minute. Rodan just smacked me when he flew across. What if I could take out this Mothra as well, bro? I'm kind of a savage with High Say Mothra right now. Hello there, ma'am. How are you doing? I am the older version of you. You know, I'm, I'm a little less attractive. I would say that Titanus Mothra is the most beautiful flying creature I have ever seen. But you know what? I, I still like this character. Let me know who you think looks the best in the comments. Is it the first one, the second, or the third? Right now, we have only been the first and second, and I'm being hunted by some Rodans. You know what? I will fight as High Say Mothra. First, let me go ahead and hit a nice little roar right well not a roar let me hit a beam and then i'm swooping in on this fire chicken demon boy get over here right now we've got an aerial fight going on right now and this is actually the first one i've done in a very long time as you guys know i usually never use flying kaiju this guy's just flying around me bro this is the main reason why i never do flying fights we just circle each other the entire time well it was nobody because the building burned down who do we have over here we've got a nice little manila Stan is he trying to get on Godzilla Ultima right now? He sure is. Look at him just running around to him, bro. We got Manila trying to get on top of Godzilla Ultima. Let me see if I can help. Maybe I can get close, and then he can jump off of me onto Godzilla Ultima, maybe? Here we go. This should work right here. Manila, get up top, buddy. Okay, I think I might be a little too short for this. Oh, never mind. Manila got on Godzilla Ultima's back. That is a savage team right there. The ultimate team of Godzilla Ultima and Manila on his back. You know what? I'm glad I could help. I'm out of here. Actually, you know what? Since I did help that, I, I kind of want to battle at the same time. Manila, get over here, sir. Manila versus Heisei Mothra. Who is going to... Well, okay, now Godzilla Ultima's kind of helping him out. So let's see how much damage I can do before we get absolutely obliterated. We're dead. And now it is time, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking out Titanus Mothra. And here we go with the most beautiful kaiju in this entire game. I, I mean, just check out those wings, man. The wings looking ultra creative and whatnot. I will say, though, I say Mothra, I, I like the face a little better. This one is just like a little small, you know what I mean? But, I mean, the wings, the wings are just absolutely gorgeous, man. This is the most beautiful kaiju in the game. Now, what we do need to do off rip is test out the moves, though. We got the mutilation strike real quick. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, her moves are definitely going to be better than the rest of the, the Mothras. What about the striking pivot, though? Let me see what that is right there. I don't know what just happened, but it was cool. Then we've got the Royal Flash. I think this is the one that blinds them, right? Let me go ahead and see. Okay, no, it's not. I went into the ground. The unearing light. I think that's what it is. Unless it's the... You know what? I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and hit the, the insearing protocol. I don't... Oh, I shot something at him, and I hit a Ghidorah. Hey, my bad. Y'all can fight. I'm going to go this way. One thing you already know what we got to do, guys. We got to hit the roar, because hopefully it sounds better than the other Mothras. Let's hit the Queen's call real quick. I mean, that sounded beautiful. But what about the queen's roar? We got to listen to what it sounds like when she gets angry. Let me hear it. Okay, that's just majestic, bro. All right, you know what? Let me hop down here and hit some saving grace real quick. You can see the dust coming off the wings. It's been a while since I've flown. And now we can take flight and hit that unearing light. You know, rhyming a little bit. But now, if I hit this move, nobody over here can see anything. And now I can just fight. What's up, Manila? The people that are flashing right now cannot see. Hopefully, we can take advantage. Look at Manila's health right now. Oh, no. Mothra is not that good in the water. I'm trying to get out. There we go. We dropped off a Manila. So already, we got a body with Titanus Mothra. And look at the wings changing colors, too. They're, they're so beautiful. Oh, Oh, no, something that's not beautiful is this character right here. It's very mean looking. We got Destroyer. Oh, wait, he said Cappy. So maybe he doesn't try to destroy me. Unless, of course, I'll swoop in and hit him with some moves. What's up, fellas? Titanus Mothra versus King Ghidorah and Destroyer. That would be an absolutely amazing fight. Oh, wait a minute. This guy said it's so nice to meet you. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave Destroyer alone. He's actually nice. But you down here, Mr. Godzilla, you, you might not be nice, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some claws at you. And this probably isn't going to turn out too well for us, guys. He is level 100. And what is Mothra doing? Girl, if you don't turn around and get back to work, here we go. Let's see if we can throw some claws and maybe drop off this Godzilla. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you no, guys. I've got 100 health, and now I have zero. I'm dead. Oh, wait a minute. What would happen if I try to take the home of Rodan? You can see him up there at the top of the volcano just chilling. Wait a minute. Is he giving me his home right now? Well, would you look at that? We've got two Rodans up here, and, and I'm just chilling with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to fight. I'm just trying to be Mothra in a volcano. You know, we're all just chilling in the hot tub and whatnot. Mothra is looking real nice. You know what? Let me go ahead and fight. He said, OMG. He didn't know he was actually chilling in a hot tub with Mothra. You know, I would I would be pretty happy too. I would be very much excited, but I, I will say I'm getting up out of here, man. Mothra's got some work to do. I will say about Mothra, she's not the fastest flyer in the world. It might take me an hour 
up to get to Tokyo? I'll be right back. Let's see what would happen if I fought a Thermo Godzilla. Would he use his Thermo Pulse on me? I mean, I'm the... Okay, Mothra, calm down a little bit, girl. I mean, I'm the one that helped you turn into Thermo Jeep, and I took it away from you. Take a seat. Sorry, big fella. Oh, my... Yo, I just noticed how many flying kaijus we have over here, and we got a lot of people on the ground. Oh, who do we fight over here, guys? I just said everyone fights, so now we might have a giant battle between everybody that's right here. We got a couple Manilas. We got a Destroyer. And we've got a Mudo. Okay, yep, now I'm getting hit a lot. I'm trying to fly away and maybe survive this. Okay, you see, that's why I love Mothra. We can fly away and kind of watch the battle go down on the ground real quick. But oh no, my boy Thermo G is back. And of course, I got destroyed with a pose. You know what? I'm gonna try a battle one more time. Look, that Thermo pose is already off. So now that means we're not gonna get hit with a Thermo pose. We can just kind of chill out and destroy this blue thermonuclear Godzilla. But can Mothra do it? That is the only question right now, guys. I don't, I don't think I can, man. You know, the level is mighty low. And there we go. I am dead. That's the end of this video. Let me know your favorite version of the Mothra evolution in the comments. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I love ya. Goodbye. I